Welcome, you have reached review time with Imperial and today's review would be the BMF series Episode 2, let's get into it So it picks right off of the last episode of course And you got the older Meech that's narrating the story And basically showing um, the younger Meech Pissed Flying through traffic on his way to the hospital for his brother he gets in the hospital looks like he got a um, Uzi or something like that shows up in the hospital with the Uzi and sees his brother um, all bloodied up where he got shot in the eye the one uh, detective pulls a gun out on him but detective Bryant is there which we all know is affiliate that pretty much um, calms Meech down and tell him give him a gun. So he talked to Terry a little bit, but he pretty much said that he thinks that uh, what Terry um, was into, it was uh, uh, like a high a carjacking. So they doing everything to try to um, calm each down just like we thought or anybody that's watching the guy that had words with terry in school and had seen him at the club of course meach goes and approach him pretty much duffs him out and um pistol whip him and everything so that was we've seen that coming he didn't kill him and so meach is pretty much telling him he need a team full of people uh following his family and um watching the corners so Lamar who's been scoping the scene of the other uh, rival crew of uh, Big Meech and them and we all know from first episode Lamar used to run all that area he went to jail for two years and he's uh, was messing with Mo who's now messing with Meech and he got a kid but that's not even his kid so he's still in his feelings about a lot of things so he's been peeping everything. So he rolls up to J Mo, pretty much telling J Mo, "Yo, I want to be down." And so J Mo pretty much um, hit him on to his other homeboy that used to be uh, affiliated with Lamar, and pretty much Lamar. Approached him like what's going on. He pretty much said well when you I tried to hold it down, but you know They got the product so he had to get down and so Lamar is up to something basically no good of course. So meanwhile you have B Mickey and Kato Kato is a female and you know it's an attraction already there between big um, B Mickey and you know, he's pushing up on her so she gets jumped in a um, stash house with a crackhead, pretty much, and she handled herself. She's tough, you know, and that made uh, B. Mickey, like, into her pretty much more. So this is not really, like, a filler episode. It's, it's adding on, too, but it's the buildup. And so, of course, they're going back and forth in the hospital with uh, Terry, pretty much. You see that Terry's pretty much going to lose an eye, and... He had to do surgery again, and he had an infection in the eye that made it worse. And so, that was it was a lot back and forth, me showing up. And uh, the little sister, Nicole, pretty much, um, she's the youngest. She knows everything that's going on with them, uh, me selling drugs, and Terry actually selling drugs. But what happens is, she's playing like she don't know. So, she's caught in the middle of all that because the dad questioned her, and she pretty much said she didn't know. So, um, they pretty much, uh, she's caught in between as a little kid. And so she's kind of spiraling. And so Meech, um, and her have a little falling out. And she pretty much explained it's been hard. And he doesn't really, he's not paying attention to her pretty much. And he's in his own world. And it's hard for her. So he gave her a stack of money. And of course, you know, the dad, um, He not accepting of that, so he pretty much told the mom, like, 
you gonna have to let Meech go. And I mean, you kicked him out the house, but you need to like basically kick him off the family. So of course, you know, she approached Meech telling him that he gotta make a decision or he gonna be out the family. He pretty much told her, I pretty much will uh, do a better job at protecting the family, but I'm not getting out the game pretty much. So Terry wakes up out of his, um, from surgery and pretty much telling his girl he not getting out of the game. He loved the game and uh, he's in it. She just gonna have to trust him. Meanwhile, Detective Bryant shows up with J-Mo in the back seat. Now, Lamar put a word on the street to start a rumor that J-Mo was behind Terry getting shot. So, Detective Bryant grabbed J Mo off the streets, brought him to a undisclosed location, and dropped him off. Meanwhile, they were questioning Meech is do he got the heart to kill? You know, they know he's tough, but do he actually got the heart to kill somebody? And so B Mickey is questioning him like, you know, if it was my brother, I'd be, you know, destroying the streets or whatever. So he shows the cleverness that they had with their cars where they already had like special compartments in the cars that hide the product also hides the um the drugs and stuff like that so he had a gun inside a hidden compartment so back in this time of course this is when uh law enforcement wasn't up on all that so they were moving slick and so after they got the J-Mo there, J-Mo, of course, was denying that he had anything to do with it. And so, me starting punishing him, beating him up and everything. And uh, he pretty much told him it wasn't me. And basically told me that you in uh, more trouble than you was when uh, Terry pulled a gun out. So, that infuriated him even more. So, he was pleading for his life when Meech had the gun to him and then... B. Mickey pulled a gun out and pretty much shot and killed him. And then Meech was like, what you do that for? Because Detective Bryant told him just, uh, beat him up. Don't actually, uh, kill him or anything. So, so after that, after B. Mickey killed him, Meech probably was basically like, you doing stuff without my authority, and stepped to him. And so B. Mickey act like, you know what I'm saying, he was going to pull the gun on Meech, and Meech pretty much like, basically tell him, you need to, you better do it, or whatever. So he stand down, but he pretty much was like, yo, don't worry, I tell everybody you the one you did the kill, or whatever. And that's going to be a flag on the play right there. You see that coming. And uh, basically all of this in that we're all seeing is the truth mixed with for theatrics and the sake of the show. So you, you, you're going to have to pinpoint what's actually real and what's actually not. It's not like the Power series where you can actually say, okay, this is all made up. And this is just what the writers, with this particular series, it's going to be, some of it's going to be writing, some of it's going to be truth, all blended in, and you're going to have to decipher, because anything that they wasn't charged for in real life is definitely not supposed to come out on this show that's going to hem them up for future whatever, especially if Meech is still locked up trying to get home. So I'm pretty sure that whoever, they're just blending whatever and make it whatever blending the truth with um, non-fiction with fiction and blending it all together and somebody will have to decipher what's truth and what's not and uh, just say it's basically for um, TV purposes or whatever because it'd be crazy for them to be connecting dots through this series or whatever so I, I believe this would be some people's biggest concern through all of this even coming out. Even though it's, it's coming off as a good show, that's something to be um, thought about.
overall decent episode subscribe to the channel and like the video till next time